Hello everybody! In today's video, you'll see how to change some peculiarities in the settings and in interface of the new operating system Windows 11 that so many people dislike. Every new update that Windows receives seems to be trying to change some of the user's habits. Some of those changes may be for the better, but some are definitely unpleasant for a number of people. There's a number of things in Windows 11 that most users find annoying, and naturally, they'd like to do something about it. In this video, I'll show you how to customize this operating system and make its features more convenient for your everyday needs. Based on the assumption that most users will fancy a simply-looking desktop, Microsoft decided to reduce the good old context menu, and you end up having to make a few clicks to display all of its options instead of the single-click action before. As we remember, when you, you right-click on the desktop in Windows 10, it displays a full-fledged menu with a lot of things you can do. But in the new operating system, that menu has been scaled down to about 5 elements. To access the full menu, you need to click here, show more options, or press the key shortcut Shift F10. If you want to fix that, make some changes to the registry. Right-click on the Start menu, choose Run, type Regedit in this field and click OK. In the Registry Editor window that appears, follow this path. Here, a few new strings need to be created. Right-click on the folder CLSID, New, Key. Give it a name. In this key, create one more key with the name in proc server 32. After that, go to this key, select this string with the name default, right click on the element, choose modify, and then change its value data from value not set to just empty space, and click OK. Now close the register editor and restart the computer. When it boots again, this is how the context menu will look like. One more setting affects the file explorer. In fact, the explorer in Windows 11 is similar to that in Windows 10, and its only exception is that you don't see the ribbon-style menu with tabs, and many of its items, such as file name extensions, are now hidden in the Options submenu. It is not a convenient. To fix this peculiarity, open the register editor and follow this path. Here, you need to create a register key with the name blocked. Open it and create a new string value with this name. Now close the register editor and restart the computer. Open the file explorer to see the changes. Here you are. Now the good old ribbon is back. By default, the Start menu in Windows 11 is positioned in the middle of the display and takes up more screen space for less icons than you could access in Windows 10. To make things even worse, you have to click one more time to see the list of all your apps. This unpleasant peculiarity can be fixed by restoring the classic taskbar with a third-party utility called Open Shell, or by editing the registry. In the Programs window, select the Start menu style you like, check the box below to Replace Start button and click OK. Now the classic Start menu opens every time you click the Start button. At the same time, the default Windows 11 menu is still there. The method for switching to the classic menu with the help of the register editor used to work with earlier builds only and is now unavailable. The second method still works, but the Start menu, Cortana and Search buttons will be inactive. However, as long as you use OpenShell after modifying the registry, this method is also usable. 
To edit the registry, follow the path in the editor. Create a new DWORD 32-bit value here with the name undocking disable and change its value data to 1. After you restart the computer, you will have to configure how the system icons, clock, volume and network icons should look like. To do it, open the run window and type this command. Select the option Turn System Icons On or Off and enable Clock, Volume, Network and Input Indicator. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, View or restore removed browsing history. Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description. Download the necessary program for free. Install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. What is more, Windows 11 has allowed the option to change the taskbar size. Now you can only choose one of the three possible sizes – small, medium or large. This can also be fixed by using the register editor. In the register editor window, follow the path, create a new DWORD 32-bit value and give it a name taskbar SI. Open this value and set its value data to 0, 1 or 2. It means small, medium or large size, respectively. After you've made the changes, close the registry editor and restart the computer. In Windows 10, you can place the taskbar at the top of the screen or at the side of it, but you're not going to find this feature in Windows 11. Sadly, there is no officially supported workaround to move the taskbar elsewhere in Windows 11, so if you want this feature back, you can use a third-party tool like Start 11. At the same time, you can have the taskbar at the top of the screen if you're ready to spend a while in the register editor. Open the editor. and follow the path. Open the key with the name settings and edit the fifth digit in the second row to change it from 03 to 01. Then open Task Manager and restart the file explorer. When the explorer restarts, the taskbar will be displayed at the top of the screen, together with the clock and volume icons. If you use several displays, you will have to edit all keys in the folder mmstockrectts3 to have the correct picture on all of them. Windows 11 uses Microsoft Edge as its default browser. In Windows 10, you could install another browser as the default one and change this setting during the installation. But in the latest operating system, you'll have to modify the settings manually. For example, you will need to change the application to open such file types as HTML, SVG, XHT, and so on. Without this change, a click on a link will open Edge instead of your selected default browser. To fix it, open Settings. Apps, jump to default apps, and scroll down to find Microsoft Edge. Now modify each settings. Click on the extension and choose the default browser you prefer.
In one of the latest updates, Windows 10 received a nice feature displaying current weather and temperature to the left of the volume and clock icons. However, it was removed in Windows 11. To have that widget back, you'll need to install some additional software like Weather Bar or Weather Bug. These three widgets will appear in the taskbar and inform you about the weather. One more peculiarity of Windows 11 is that it comes with OneDrive pre-installed and configured to run every time your operating system starts. To fix it, right-click on the cloud icon, open the settings, and uncheck the box for Start OneDrive automatically. In Windows 11, you can't unpin certain tiles from the taskbar by just right-clicking on them. I mean, such elements as widgets, task view, chat, and search. To remove the tiles which you don't need, right-click on the taskbar and choose Taskbar Settings. Now you can disable everything you don't want to see. This was the last tip for today, but if you'd like to add something new, we'll be happy to see your comments under this video. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!